and we are here. It's time to take everything we've learned and put it all together and then give you a building block exercise that you complete before you move into the next module. Let's complete the search phase. So here's the process we're going to go through in just a moment. First, we'll pick an Amazon country to research in. We recommend .com or .co.uk. The reason is the language barrier. It makes sense for you to research where it's simplest and fastest to complete this process. As you know, you'll be able to apply your BSR limits in each country you research in, but we simply prefer these two markets for research. Secondly, we'll start in a primary category. This will give you plenty of practice and won't force you to alter your BSR limits too much. They're also where a lot of incredible opportunities are lying, waiting for you to find, brand, import and sell. We'll then choose a subcategory to begin our research within the parent category. Once we decide on our subcategory, we'll begin our search process by locating and working through the top 100 best sellers in that subcategory. Now you are unlikely to find anything that you'll sell in the top 100, but we always start here for both practice and also to get a feel for what works in that category. Now we'll go through that top 100 and apply our item specifics to avoid, as well as using our BSR limits to determine if the item has viable demand or not. In step seven, we'll note down the items that have passed the search phase in the 4S product spreadsheet. Here we'll note the product name, ASIN, country where found, price, category, and BSR rank. We will repeat this process for every item that we find and continue until we've completed the building block exercise that's located in the video after this one. But before you begin the process, I'm gonna go through it in full so that you can watch me do it step by step. You'll then simply repeat what I did and complete your search list. Let's do it. Here we are on amazon.com in the patio, lawn and garden primary category. If you need to refresh your memory on how to find the main categories on Amazon, please go back and watch the previous videos in this modules where I teach the search phase process. I'm gonna show you how to complete the search phase process and the products we are trying to find to assess viability and how we're gonna enter the results in the Google spreadsheet that you'll find by clicking the button below this video. I will also show you amazon.co.uk and how to enter the details into the Google spreadsheet here is the Google Sheet and it contains a number of tabs. The search tab is active, showing all of the suitable research categories marked in green, the possible categories once established in yellow, the possible but require approval categories in purple, and the categories to avoid in red. I've also given you the item specifics to avoid with reminders on what each of these mean. When you hover the mouse over the black mark in the top right corner of the cell, you can see when we hover over electrical and battery, you can see the brief reason we avoid this item specific in the comment box that appears. Next, I've included a table showing the acceptable BSR for each country and categories that I taught in the previous videos. The six fields at the bottom area are where you add the information that we find on Amazon about potential products. We are now in the top 100 best sellers for patio, lawn and garden in the US. The first thing you need to do is apply the item specifics to avoid. Again, they're listed in the spreadsheet that we just looked at to make it easier for you to apply this to each product and to help you bed the list into your head. When you are looking at a product, if you don't know exactly what it is and whether it has an item specific to avoid, we can click into the listing to find out more information. As we can see here, this is some kind of a chemical, therefore, it would hit one of our item specifics to avoid, so we would ignore this and move in to the next product. Looking at the next product, this is an electronic insect killer. So therefore, it is an item that requires power. Therefore, we would move on. The third one contains a chemical to trap flies, and the fourth product contains a liquid to bait ants. These products hit the hazardous and chemical item specifics to avoid, so we would move on to the next product. Then if we look at the fifth product, this is below $7. The next one is a garden hose. This one looks okay because it does not hit any of our other item specifics to avoid. So this is a product that we can record in our spreadsheet. Now I'm not saying that this is a product that we're gonna start selling. I'm simply saying that inside the search phase, this product is viable. We can sell this product. So on our 4S product research sheet, 
we want to go to the search tab and enter the six pieces of information about this particular product that we have found. We enter the description, the ASIN, the site we found it on, the price, the category, and the BSR. The description is here inside the title, and we will copy part of the title. You don't need to copy it all. So you copy this and then click inside the cell on the sheet and then click here and paste the description. Then we need to enter the ASIN of the product. The ASIN is found by scrolling down the page to the product information area. Then the site that we found it on is the US. Then we want to get the price of the item, including any shipping cost. Then we have our category, and we know it was in patio, lawn and garden. Then we have the rank, which is the best seller rank or BSR. The BSR is also found in the product information area, and we can see that this is number six in the patio, lawn and garden. We ignore the BSR or ranking in any subcategories. We only want to use the top level category. We enter six into the spreadsheet and then look for the next product. The next product is a pool cover. And again, this would not hit any of our item specifics to avoid. So we want to go in and we want to record this information. The first thing we do is grab the description. We copy and paste it into our spreadsheet. Then we get the ASIN. Then our site is US again. The spreadsheet has a drop down that shows the four main countries to research in. When you select a country, for example UK, the category drop down only shows the categories in the UK. If you select Germany or France, the spreadsheet only shows two options at the moment, primary category or other. If you want to add any categories to the drop down list for Germany or France, you go to the tab at the bottom called lists. What I'm quickly showing you is optional just for people that want to do foreign language countries. Here you can see the four countries in the drop down lists and if you understand German or French and want to add relevant categories, you enter them in the column for the relevant country and the drop down list will automatically show what you add on the search tab. Let me demonstrate by adding a test category to Germany. Now when we go to the search tab and you will see the test category for Germany. Now I'll delete the category and show you how it automatically updates the drop down list. Now you can see it's only primary and other in the drop down list and the test category is gone. Okay, let's go back to our research and the next thing we need to do is add the price for this product, which is $11.99. The category is patio, lawn and garden. Then we want the rank of this particular product. We can see this is number nine in the primary category. Then we go back to the top 100 list and you continue the whole way down the page. You keep applying the item specifics to avoid and if you find a product that does not hit any of the item specifics to avoid, you record in your spreadsheet. Whenever you get down to 50, you go to the next page with items 51 to 100 and you keep going down through the next page until you eventually get to the last of the items 51 to 100. Now it's time to take this on beyond the top 100. Let me just briefly show you the UK site. I'm going to look at a similar primary category to what we have been looking at in the US and that is the garden and outdoors category. In previous videos I showed you how you can just find any product in a category and scroll down to the product information area and click on the link to the top 100 in the primary category. Now let's look at moving our research outside the top 100. Okay, so as you've seen, these items in the top 100 are very competitive. The hidden gems that we'll find and end up selling will likely sit outside the top 100. Let's talk about that 
and what you need to do once you've exhausted the first top 100 bestseller list. This process is actually pretty simple. All you're going to do is move into a sub subcategory and locate the top 100 bestsellers in that category and repeat the exact same process you've just completed. We'll then move into the second sub subcategory and repeat until we're finding items that are outside our BSR limits. I'll show you how to move into sub subcategory and then to sub sub subcategories right now. Moving outside of the top 100 in a primary category is very simple. We are going to use the Amazon subcategories that they allow us to explore as well as sub subcategories. These subcategories can be found in the left margin underneath our primary category. In the patio, lawn and garden category, Amazon has the first subcategory listed as gardening. We click on the link and we are now taken to another top 100 list for the subcategory of gardening and lawn care. Some of the products in the subcategory will obviously be the same as the products that you've already found in the top category. But as you will see, the subcategory goes a lot deeper. So to research in the subcategory, you'll follow the same process I just taught you at the category level. As you scroll down the list in the subcategory, you add products to the spreadsheet that do not hit our list of item specifics to avoid, and eventually you will find more products that are outside the list of top 100 products in the primary category. As we go down the list and see particular products showing up in these subcategories, and as we move into their BSR, we will see the BSR numbers getting larger. So this particular product is ranked 62 in the primary category, but in the subcategory, it is ranked number 33. As we keep moving through the subcategory, we're going to start to see products that get to our BSR limits of 20,000 in the three primary categories I mentioned, and 10,000 in the other primary categories. When we reach a product that doesn't have any of the item specifics to avoid, but it does go beyond our BSR limit, then we will not include this in our research because it is not a viable product because of the high BSR. So you see in this one here is 98 in patio, lawn and garden. So it's still within our BSR limit. So we can record this product in our spreadsheet. Whenever we exhaust that top 100 of that subcategory, Amazon shows us the sub subcategories in the left margin. We can now move into the sub subcategories and continue adding products to our spreadsheet that do not hit any item specifics and are within our BSR limits. We will eventually move to the extremes of our BSR limits, and once we hit the first product that doesn't have any item specifics to avoid, but does go over our BSR limit, we can stop inside that top 100 of that particular sub or subcategory, and then move on to another primary category and repeat the process again. So our search phase of the 4S process is all about going through the primary categories, then the subcategories, then the sub subcategories, and rinse and repeating and noting down your findings on the search tab of the spreadsheet.